From Navy fighter pilot to an organic farmer to a distiller, Rackhouse Whiskey Club travels to Southeast Minnesota to visit Rock Filter Distillery. We're excited to share this story with you. I'm Christian Myra. I'm the founder of Rock Filter Distillery. We're standing here in our cocktail room in uh, downtown Spring Grove, Minnesota. We're literally about two miles from the farm where I grow all the grains that, uh, that go into all our, our whiskey and bourbon. Spring Grove is the first Norwegian settlement in Minnesota. It was originally called Norwegian Ridge. And even when I was growing up here, you'd walk down the sidewalk and there'd be old timers sitting on park benches still speaking Norwegian. A lot of, a lot of Scandinavian heritage here, and uh, which would, you know, Vikings and trolls and things like that you see around. Moved away for a number of years, was in the, in the Navy, flew uh, F-18s on uh, active duty for about 12 years, and then did another 12 years in the reserves. Moved back here in 2006, uh, family farm, started uh, farming organically, uh, raising organic crops, uh, grass-fed cattle, grass-fed sheep. Decided to uh, kind of try to branch out, do something more than just sitting on a tractor and chasing sheep around all day. So we uh, looked around at all the, all the natural resources we have right here in southeast Minnesota. A lot of limestone beneath our feet. Same type of limestone they have in, in Kentucky where they, you know, kind of the birthplace of, of bourbon. So I looked at the natural resources we had, the already raising grains organically on the farm, got limestone filtered water here. There's a stave mill about five miles from us that, that's been in existence for 85 years, harvesting white oak right out of this region. So we have the white oak, we got the water, we got the grains, and um, decided that all those things kind of lend themselves to making whiskey. So the farm's about two miles from here that where all the grain is raised. And then we take all our grains to the oldest water-powered mill in Minnesota. Uh, that still uses original stones to grind grain. So all our grain gets stone ground on stones that have been in operation since uh, 1876. And those stones are French quartz stones that came from France back in, in the 1870s. It's all about, I think, the, more the process, how we treat the land, the soil, and everything from start to finish. And as a farm distillery, we literally control the process from the time the seed goes in the ground to the time it goes into the bottle. In the military, like spending eight months in Afghanistan, working with special forces, there's a lot of camaraderie and, and things that, that uh, coming off of a, a deployment like that, all of a sudden, right back into a small town in Minnesota, sitting alone on a tractor going, you know, there's, there's other things we can do that bring people together and tell stories, fellowship, camaraderie, things like that, that uh, made an impression on me as a, as a military guy. You know, our brand and, and what we're all about is the, the camaraderie and the, the storytelling. And you can see that in our bottles. Our bottles are kind of like a story right there. The two bottles we're planning on doing is, one is um, called a rail splitter bourbon. And that one has actually got a picture of my great, great grandfather on the, on the label. And uh, the reason we, we call that rail splitter is that uh, in the winter of 1856, he split 10,000 oak fence rails by hand for a penny apiece. Oak always splits better when it's cold, so they did it in the winter time. And so for 100 bucks, he split 10,000 oak fence rails. And it's a unique mash bill, that one. It's, uh, it's a bourbon, it's 55% corn and 45% triticale. And triticale is a grain that was developed in Europe in the 1800s. It's, uh, literally a cross between rye and wheat. So it's kind of a, a unique grain that doesn't get used a lot. The other one is a unique one um, that falls under a, uh, a series we call our Test Acre Experimental Series. So anything that we do that's kind of unique that we're not gonna put out there is a branded product. We, uh, we release it under our Experimental Series and, uh, and that's what this, uh, this one will be. It's uh, an heirloom corn called Ohio Blue Clarage. It's a, the kernels are literally blue and uh, that mash bill has got the blue corn, a small, or about a quarter of the, the blue corn in that mash bill is actually um, blackened. Uh, we blackened it just like literally with a torch, and then, um, and then it's got black barley and hollis oats in, in that mash bill. So that's uh, kind of a unique one too. So sign up through Rackhouse Whiskey Club, try uh, some of this rock filter. Right now we're only distributed in Minnesota, so this is a, a unique chance for people outside of the state to actually get uh, delivered right to your doorstep.